Morning, children. So, <laughs> I've had a suggestion from Thin White Jude 85, uh, Chess.com friend. He says, Hi, Ben, this might be a fun idea for a video. How about playing as an anonymous guest on Chess.com and doing a five minute blitz disrespect speed run against new to chess or beginners? Wow. It's something I do from time to time since you don't need to create an account for it. Then watch out as you might face some players who are clearly not new to chess. How many games can you win in a row? By the way, I'm currently reading The Red Pill Revolution. Interesting so far. So, um, let's go a uh, anonymous window and just try it. I mean, I, I don't know. I, I guess this is fine. I'm not creating a double account. I'm just not being me. Um, should we do it? Let's okay, okay. Let's let's do new to new to chess. Let's do new to chess, and we're gonna do like Duke suggested, five minute speed run. Okay, look, I've got ads. How cool is this? Okay, um, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm new to chess. Let's develop pieces. That's a good idea. So my new name is guest two two seven seven eight seven five eight nine one. Obviously, okay. I don't want to be captured, so I'm going to come here and hit this rook. So obviously, moving these pawns at the side doesn't give um, my opponent the the greatest control over the board. Let's bring a pawn out. I'm going to stick my knight behind it. This knight wants to come out but can't go there. So what do we do? How about f six? Ooh. The hell was that? You do get some fun stuff here. Okay, now I'll capture with my knight. I might even just bring out my bishop and short castle now, get my rook on f8 here, line it up with opponent's rook. See what opponent is. Ooh, damn. Damn. What opponent is not doing is developing his pieces. One, two, three, four, five, six pieces still not developed after eight moves. Now in eight moves, you can complete development. I'm doing much better seeing as I've got two pieces out on the board. But I also have good control over the center with my pawns. I'm kind of liking this, um, the classic green and white layout. Do you play better chess in green and white? I don't know. Okay. He wants to come here, but I can just take there. So I'm going to bring out my bishop. I'm going to bring out my knight. I'm going to bring out my queen. Probably line it up with the opponent's king. I'm going to castle one way or another. Easy enough. Okay. So opponent has less than four minutes. I'm on 417. <sighs> oh, hello. I spy with my little eye something beginning with P. It's a p, -p, -p pin. Obviously, I can't, also can't castle that way, so... I'm going to do this. Apparently this was the Clements opening. I've never heard of this in my all my days. Okay. He takes, I take. Now, he either has to move away or take the bishop. I know what I'd do. At which point I can castle with check. How about that? And I'd like to put my queen there. Let's bring the knight out first. This pawn hangs. In fact, I've got this queen here. Forces the king there. Uh, okay, let's develop. Now I've completed development. Hooray for me. 15 moves. How about that? Maybe that's what we should do, actually. I'll try and complete development as quickly as possible in every game before thinking about any tactics. And then see if that gives me... Um, this is a fork on king and, and knight. See if that actually almost gives me an automatic advantage. And pawn, by the way. Yeah. I'm liking my green and white action now. Okay, let's take the pawn. I'm, I'm going to play a bit like a beginner. Um, I can also take this pawn which comes with another fork on there and there. Also, also notice that my knight hangs, so if the king goes here, I can move my knight with check. Hmm. Let's save the knight. Hmm. 
Could have just... Oh, hell, oh, I just hung my queen. Oh, no. Oh, no, my queen. Okay, well, oh, no, your king as well, actually. A bit. All right. Oh, no. Now, this isn't going to be very instructive if I just play like a complete arse head, is it? Okay, well, now I can take here, defended by my rook. King has to go here now. Doesn't he? Then I can go here with checkity doo -dah, and he's only got a couple of options. Ooh, that doesn't work. Um, the king here. I mean, I, do, I have rook here. That actually forces the king off there, and then I win the queen. I also had this move. Oh, I had queen takes there as well. Huh. Now, he can't take my queen because he's just pinned his own. So, what, what happens if I do this? <laughs> so, all right. A cat's cradle, isn't it, of a, of a construct? The other nice thing about this is you can't chat. Let's move the knight. I might bring in my my rook. That gives him only one square, and then nah. hmm. Let's defend the knight. I think I'm doing quite well. Is there any value in this at all? If not, blame Duke, not me. Okay, knight's defended. Let's just squeeze the king into the corner. Now he's got to go here. And I think that's checkmate. Woo! I won. Hooray. Okay. Right, now the challenge is to try and complete development as quickly as possible. Okay. So, we have to move one, either one of these two pawns to allow this bishop out into the board. And likewise, we have to move one of these two pawns to allow this bishop out into the board. Now we've moved the ideal two, which is the, the central two, because that also comes with control of the center. I'm controlling four squares in my opponent's half of the board. Okay, now let's bring out the horses. Bring on the dancing horses, wherever they may roam. Da, 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 da. Echo and the bunny man. And, uh, and every lie you heard. <clears throat> and I'm gonna make it. I'm gonna break my brittle heart. Okay, well, here I've developed with a capture because the pawn hung. So why not? What do you. What? Yeah, but the boys and girls are trying to. Someone wants to say hello. <coughs> He's starving. Is she not feeding you enough? Rotten mum. Rotten mum. Okay, so again, we're going to try and complete development. So here I have another pawn. It is defended by the queen, but I'm supported here. So let's go there. Actually, spotting blunders by complete beginners that ha actually hangs the queen but we're not doing that kind of nonsense right now because i've got to develop okay so i'm going to give you a chance to spot this and then i'm going to castle or i'm going to get my queen off the back rank okay got three squares again he hasn't spotted his queens hanging so i'm going to play queen d7 and develop my uh, well, develop my queen and defend my bishop at the same time. So if, well, it's defended anyway, to be honest. Okay. And again, we are, I have to complete development. Okay, move eight. Completed development. Okay. Two pawns, two bishops, two knights, queen off the back rank, castles. Yeah. Two pawns, two bishops, two knights at six. Queen, castles is eight. And now we're done. And now I can attack. Okay. Let's have the queen. Let's trade knights. If pawn takes back, I have queen takes. Okay. Hitting the rook. 
this pawn is pinned. Uh, let's take the rook. Hitting this. If this bishop moves, I can either win it here or win the knight as well. In fact, the bishop can't move. What am I talking about? Madness. Madness. Sheer bloody madness, hunty. What are you talking about? You nutter. King can't go here or here or here, by the way. Okay. Well, this is check. Mate. Well, that was fun. You see how quickly that just fell apart? Okay, so we spent eight moves doing our development. And then opponent got checkmated in the next five. That's pretty cool. Let's do it again. I'm liking this. This is much easier than playing 1500s in 10 minute uh, rapid. Oh, okay. Right, e4, e5. I'm going to play this move, whatever happens. This is the elephant gambit, apparently. I've never played it. Okay. Um, I have moved to make now. It's tempting to play queen e7, but that breaks the rules because um, I would then be in the way of my bishop. So although I've moved my e-pawn, e7, e5, I'd have to move my queen or the g-pawn again in order to develop my bishop, and I can't do that because of the rules. Rules matter. Okay, we're attacking your knight. What are you going to do about it? I'm just playing as a guest. Okay, well, I'm now going to develop my knight. See, if I develop this knight immediately, he might have taken it, and then that creates a problem for me because I can't recapture. Okay, I'm going to develop this knight. If he takes here, I can recapture with development. I can... Okay. Um, I actually also have this move, but... He could have moved his knight back. And that would ruin my day. Okay, let's develop the queen. Move seven. We are one away. All right, and... Which side? Let's castle this way. Okay, he's now pinned his bishop. Anytime you block a check, you pin. All right, and now... Development is complete, and we can go balls out, attack opponent, let's sack a bishop. Let's give check. That's also quite a good move. Uh, that gives check, hits the bish. King can't go there or there. Queen really can't take. If the king goes here, I do that and win the queen. If the king goes back here, that's probably the best move. There you go. Okay, one of these. Let's um, send Harry in on his Harry Carry mission. Okay, you hit my queen, do you? You hit my queen. How dare you, sir? Let's go here. Attack this and attack this. See, my opponent has not completed development. So this knight is still in the box. This rook is going to still be in the box for a while. I'm hitting the bishop. I'm hitting that. There's no way he can defend the pawn with a bishop. But he could play, could have played this. Okay. Now I can have the pawn. That pawn's got my name all over it. But instead I'm going to send Harry in on a danger mission. Okay, well this comes with... No, it doesn't come with check. It does not come with check. Okay, let's give check with Harry. Okie cokey. Hokey cokey, picking a pokey. This is also a check. He can't take because the pawn's facing the wrong way. He can't go here. He can't go here. Okay. Alrighty then. Let's centralize Rooker. This one? Or this one? This one. Now you're in check. You can't go there. You can't go... Okay. Is that checkmate? This is like um, a dovetail mate with, with this extra bishop here. That even if that bishop wasn't there, it'd still be mate because... It's like a dovetail joint. That was great. I enjoyed that. So how many moves is that? 19 moves. So 8 moves to fill and then it took another um, 11. The reversed French England gambit declined. Okay. So again, we're, we're just... I'm going to try and complete development in 8 moves. And then we're going to commit... Murder if we can. Okay, so I'm bringing out Bishop. Obviously, don't want to put my knight there. So I don't want to put my knight there. So I'll probably, in that case, want to put my knight here. Which And what that means is, let's bring out the Bishop next. And then I can put my knight there. Castle, Queen off, eight. Eight moves. Knight here. 
Add a second defender to pawn. Oh no, my bishop. <sighs> now this is annoying. Because I've only got one way to develop my queen. I can only put it on this square. And then when he takes here, on my next move I have to... Oh, he didn't, he didn't do it, he didn't do it, he didn't do it. Okay. Right, now my queen can escape, but it means that I do get to castle on move 8. Sunday, Monday, happy days. Okay, you've done that, but now I've completed development, so now I get to come out and have a go. You should do this exercise. This is a good exercise. Okay, bishop's retreated. Okay, I'm a piece and a pawn down. So, what do we do in this situation? Well, look, my king is castled. This is the important thing. My king is castled, white is not. Therefore, the general rule is bash open the development. Smash in the doors. Okay, I might take, take. He could even take with a knight here, actually. Okay, he's taken with a pawn. So, look, I've got two attackers, but he, right now he's got two de defenders. So, if I remove one of the defenders... He should take with the bishop. There we go. And now this. And now what I'm actually threatening is to move the knight with a discovered attack. Okay. Um, so I was tempted to take the bishop there. But he's got queen takes. This hangs. This is undefended. Uh, I have this. Might win the knight. How does the queen defend? The knight. She doesn't. Okay. So I think that's the best move. Get myself a horse. Whoa! Wowzers in my trousers. Look at this, guys. What the hell? Okay, well, the queen is mine. Hangs, hangs. Queen there would be checkmate. Oh, he resigned. See how it happens? Right, let's do it again. This is great fun. Forcing yourself to develop in eight moves. Okay, the Vienna. Wow. Okay, well, this is a... Gen the Falkbeer Vienna. Now, I played the Falkbeer Vienna. I don't know what he's playing. Okay, let's play th this. If he takes, I'm not allowed to recapture. I'm going to counterattack his queen. And now I'm going to play this. He should really take my knight now. If he takes this, I have like queen takes or... Okay. And again, um, because of the rules, I'm doing this. Now, an opponent who plays well, if he takes this knight, actually, I'm... I'm <laughs> I'm buggered. Okay. If knight takes... Okay, well, this is fine. Uh, well, it's it's kind of fine. Could have been finer. Uh, let's castle. Long castles again. Like, because we've got an open default, I'm going to line up. Okay, now. Now, let's have a think. Got four minutes. I'm down seven materials at this point. But, notice... I have completed development now. The The main issue is this. So I'm going to capture here. If pawn takes, I have this. I don't have any checks, do I? So, no. Right, queen can't go there, can't go there. Queen here is made possible. All right. <clears throat> I can't play my knight here. Knight e5 is... Um, Respectable looking move. Opponent isn't about to castle either side. So what I want to do now is I want to prove that his, his position is actually bad, dis despite the fact that he's... Oh, no! No! Hunty! You sock puppet. I haven't got pre-moves on anymore. Right, I'm completely losing. Oh. 
过安排。Hmm, that's a check. Okay, let's go and hide. I guess I don't have game analysis either. All right, what do we want to do? This? Yeah. I have this, I'm attacking B2. He can't move his pawn because it hangs the knight. Well, that's a decent move. Um, if I attack the queen, he just takes the knight, then I take the bishop, yeah? I really can't afford to be losing material at this point, so I'm going to retreat the knight and still have the idea of the pawn fork there. Okay, he's fallen for the pawn fork. <laughs> no, he hasn't, because look, this is checkmate. Well, it's, it's not actually, but wow, I, I'd let him do that, but oh, I have this, wins the queen back, this is check, he can block with a rook or he can move, I win back the queen, but for a rook, at the cost of a rook, and I'm still completely lost, wow, okay, let's um, engage king mode. I'm down like two rooks and some pawns. Wow. No, I'm getting my ass kicked here. But, you know. Uh, I'm not going to give up my bishop for no reason. Even for a rook. Oh, wow. Okay, now it's now it's a game of try and get stalemated. That hangs. Now this, oof. So the game here is to actually lose all my stuff. It's actually quite nasty because his king can't move now. But he, okay. I doubt I'm going to survive for three minutes. So it just goes to show that material does matter. <clears throat> right, now all he needs to do is, is roll in that pawn, yeah? Okay, I'm in check. I get it. You going to come here? Good. All right. I'm going to try and stop that pawn then, aren't I? Project stalemate. Let's do it. Come on. All he, yeah, all he needs to do is this now and then. That and that is is mate. And that's mate. There we go. Well done. Yeah. So that game was lost. Why? Because of material. Do I get a game review? Do I get a game review? Oh no. Right. Let's do another one. Let's do another one. This is quite instructive. I, I feel like there's some value in this. I'm gonna pre-move. Oh, I can't pre-move. Yeah, let me know what you think. Do you want to see this again? The elephant gambit again. Here we go. Zip, zip, dilly bit. Here we go. And he's hung his queen. But for legal reasons, I'm not allowed to take it. <laughs> I think this may be this. Okay. Now I can develop my queen. Recapture. So I'm down five materials. I'm down a bishop and some, some pawnage. 
Okay, castles. Let's go short this time. Okay, this actually pins the bishop, which means the bishop is is not defending this, but the queen absolutely is. <clears throat> now, now, we're going to try and win. How do we win? This might force the pawn push. Well, it's slightly weakening, that's all. Okay, now he's pinned his own knight. Let's go here. The, the knight is pinned, the bishop is pinned. Okay, now it's not. But the bishop is now defended only by the queen, right? If I take the knight, the queen recaptures, I have knight takes d5, hitting queen and adding a second attacker to the bishop, which is currently defended only by the queen and therefore can only be defended by the queen on the next turn, and that hangs your queen. Thank you. And now we're winning. Um, I think rook ad8. If pushes, I can just take. Okay. My first instinct is this. But that also kind of traps the bishop. So let's have a think about this. Um, yeah, and that hangs your bishop, unfortunately. I have a check, but then king b1. I think probably it's a case of let's um, plan B for the old rooks, yeah? Rook B8. Okay, nice. But you've undefended this pawn by blocking it with your own bishop. However, you can win a pawn back by sacking the bishop on H8 and then winning this. Okay, cool. Cool. Now, but we're up a queen, so what do we do? Well, now rook B C8. I'm going to, this general idea, hello, okay, move it forward with tempo, saying, go on, rook, clear out. Now here, I don't want to hang my queen, so move sideways. Threatening checkmate. Good. Pawn hangs. This hangs. So does that. That's not very nice, is it? No, my love, not nice at all. And resigns. See? So there we go. Develop. Du, 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 du. Completing development. We're losing. But look at the difference here. Yeah? And if you are, like a beginner, if you are a sub 500, it just shows. Right? So, yes, I'm, I'm down five materials. I'm down a bishop and two pawns here, but just see how the game goes, right? Now this is pinned. So although this bishop is on the board, it can't do anything because it put the king in check. He brings his queen out. A bit on the early side, but this is a blunder. Okay. So what did I miss there? I didn't have, is it this? Queen takes, but then I, I can't play this. I don't know. I missed something here, because black's winning now, even though I'm, I'm down five. Is it this? No. Okay, so I can't switch on stockfish either, that's interesting. Hmm. There's a, there's a, obviously something killer here. And the eval bar is telling me what it, can you see it? I can't see it, what is it? I can't take here. I can't take here. Is it night here? No. What is it? Stockfish is creeping up its depth as well. It's now gone 20 moves deep and it's saying that it's negative three. It's not that. We know it's not that. Okay. 
Fascinating. And it's not that I did I play that is that the movie I played? It's not that either. Okay, is it just this? No. What is it? Is it that? No. Right. Okay, I'm gonna cheat. I'm gonna go into my chess.com, logged in. <clears throat> chess analysis board. <laughs> One or more PGNs, let's go. And X to uh, switch the board and Okay, from this position, here we go, this is the position. Bishop F4. Just attacking the pin piece. Well, well, well. Taking advantage of the pin, Bishop F4. And he has to give up the bishop. This Right, so here's the thing. It's defended by the queen now. Right, it's coming to attack twice. I guess he's got king defense. But the best moves are bishop here. Then I think rook takes, yeah. Or just retreat the queen. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> no, king here I just take anyway. Yeah, king, <laughs> there's no point in having the, 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 the royal family defending. So, yeah, this just doesn't work. Attacking the pin piece. Right, so here's what we do. We come back to this position. Okay. And I go, <clears throat> I copy the fen. Oops. Copy the fen. I go to my woody studies. And this is to do with pins. And I think it's a pins medium puzzle. Okay. We've got 36 of these right now. Medium 37. Put it in from Black's perspective. There we go. Queen here. Right, so I'll stick on. See, Lee Chess lets you use Stockfish for free. Chess.com. Doesn't it? Okay. So from here is completely, completely winning. Actually, the best move is King F2 here. Getting out of the pin. Okay. So here we go. Blunder. And what's the best move? Okay. How much have you learned about the vulnerability of pinned pieces? Let's find out. And the correct move, you play the correct move, is this. Okay. And then if there's any other move, I can you can put a tip. Um, so the tip is, how can you apply pressure to the pinned piece? Yeah. And then we can say any other moves. Um, White has one Achilles heel. Um, cause it pain, right? So there you go. And that is my my Woody study. And now we've added it to there. And if I wanted to, then I might make a short out of that would be very good in fact let's let's make a short out of it as well okay so anyway guys um i found that interesting very interesting and what an interesting challenge yeah complete development in eight moves which means you can't do any other move if it's not a developing move and then try and win against complete randoms on chess.com fascinating stuff let me know if you want if you want to see more of it or if you try it out for yourself let me know how you get on thanks for watching see you later